Hello friends, welcome to LabTex. My name is Nasser and along with me Dildar sir is here. And uh, today we have a very interesting case study. The board is blast and uh, there is going to be a hole between the PCB and uh, we have to save this motherboard. So I would like to demonstrate you that how you can save if you receive these types of motherboard. Now let's come and see. As you can see this is the Dell 15 5000 series and the part number is LA-B012P and uh, this motherboard comes with uh, a broad bell processor and uh, uh, the GPU is embedded in, in the motherboard. However, the same motherboard comes without graphic as well. And uh, now you can see if you observe physically, you will get to know that someone has worked over here and tried to do some manageable work. Anyhow, he wanted to repair this motherboard. Now let us uh, insert the DC jack into the motherboard and uh, since uh, it is the physical damage, so you have to be very cautious because uh, you may have to bear the brunt because uh, the board can get burnt. Now you can see that the smoke is coming out from here as soon as I touch, I touch the disc. Now you can see as you can observe that the smoke is coming out from the motherboard very badly and now the, there is the, some spark is uh, taking place also. Now uh, and the situation on the power supply then it is. Uh, definitely showing me the shorting is somewhere in the motherboard however you can observe it physically as well so now you can see so in this way you cannot remove this uh, types of shorting just because uh, the board comes with the eight layer the pcb layer is written on the uh, schematic let me reach to the schematic if there is the bomb bomb table on the given over there like it is the given the bomb table that bill of uh, materials is given over there and also sometimes the lane and the layers information is given in the usually in western and compal and uh, conta these types of pcb maker they usually uh, write all the layers information so if uh, you do not get that information so you can understand their six and seven layer are the very usual in the motherboard each and every motherboard comes with at least six and seven layers maybe uh, i have seen the 10 layer as well so layers is short in this motherboard so in this way you cannot rectify this layer by scratching it you will make a hole from here to here but despite you would not be able to get rid of this problem so what is the solution so now you can see that still we are getting the same situation over here what we are going to do first first of all we will see that what is the area so let me reach to the schematic and uh, on the schematic let me write pq1005 pq1005 this is the location and uh, let me figure out what is this this is uh, the vga core regulator gpu power okay it is written here it seems that it is a graphic power supply so vg core is written here so this voltage is ultimately is not going to be produced in the motherboard what you have to do whether you offer your customer to replace the motherboard or you just uh, say him that you can manage it without graphic so i will convert it with non graphic and i will try to save this motherboard so how you can save this types of motherboard like uh, if you receive this motherboard in the graphic area there is a blast in the graphic area but had it been in the uh, different area like the ram area and the pch area then what could you do in that situation so if you want to know that what we use in that situation we have also a manageable work there is a buck converter also comes for that you can make a voltage over there so in order to make the manageable work you need to beef up your concept first so if you are hankering after the concept then you can uh, access you can get our video classes there all the information of the logic purpose has been given over there and uh, we have described there ranging from the beginning to the end from the rtc section to the H dmi section there we have described each and everything so if you are hankering after the actual knowledge 
then you can you can contact us on the given number for that video so now let me show you that how we can make it non graphic and how can we cut the this section so first of all uh, let me find out the this pl because as you you can see on the multimeter what is the situation of the shorting so it seems that it is the high drive voltage because uh, by checking the uh, low drive of source low drive source if if you check it it would be ground as we have described in our video classes so it is the ground is it is the low drive mosfet and it is the high drive mosfet so high drive drain side is always 19 volt so now the value is very less we have also described over there the what should be the actual value in the different generation motherboard so here we are getting very less uh, impedance so what you have to do anyhow you have to increase that imp impedance because this is not the impedance of this particular area because uh, if i check the core uh, core area or pch area 19 volt like here is the 19 volt area of the pch so also this is reduced to the 10 ohm merely so how can you get rid of this uh, less impedance you have to do some work to uh, eradicate the problem from the root so what you have to do you have to cut off first of all you have to cut cut off the 19 volt area so this is the coil pl1000 i will show you in the schematic now after removing this so i have removed this pl i would like to isolate this particular area from the motherboard so that it cannot affect the other other 19 volt area so what we are going to show you here pl pl 1000 pl 1000 now you can see that a b plus voltage is coming through this coil and uh, it is coming on the as i have uh, described you that uh, it is coming on the drain of the high drive mosfet so 19 volt is coming on the drive high drive on the drain side and uh, if we cut if, uh, if we isolate it from this coil then i think uh, the area has been separated now you can see on the multimeter this position is the output from the motherboard it is the output and for the gpu section is it is the input now you can see the 5 ohm is coming here and in the input area it has increased now so it i i think that uh, by by removing this coil by removing this coil i have succeeded on this point so the, now you can see that my 19 volt area is value is very fine okay it is coming around 500 uh, kilo ohm and uh, let me power up so now i have no need to remove the gpu because uh, it uh, i have seen so many people what uh, they do to uh, to convert it non graphic they usually remove the coils so they are just following the step a uh, footstep of the others who is making video and uploading on the youtube that uh, by in order to make make it non graphic what you have to do you have to remove the coil even you can make it non graphic by removing the 19 volt okay so let me uh, power it up now it seems that the voltage is generated uh, let me show you let me set it on the volt the 13 volt so if you ask for that why this is the 13 volt so uh, if you want to know that it is the right or wrong so uh, you need to have our charging classes because there we have described the nvdc technology and hpb technology this is this motherboard particular motherboard is having the hpb technology so if you uh, however you can say that the charging uh, case is uh, quite difficult to uh, to solve but you uh, we can guarantee you that you can solve the charging case or any types of charging issue if you watch that charging uh, video 
So now you can see that uh, our HPV is uh, very uh, working very fine. It is generating 3.3 .3 volt. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <coughs> uh, my H HPV charging IC is working very fine, and uh, now the HPV voltage we are getting here it is uh, 13.71 volt, which is quite fine. And uh, as we have injected here uh, 19 volt, so we are getting the 19 volt on the motherboard. Okay, so in the DC area, but uh, after the charging IC we will we we will get this voltage. Okay, because the HPV technology has been used in this charging in this motherboard. So I think my 19 volt is okay. Now let me power it up. Let me turn turn it on. So I am turning it on. Now you can see that my board is uh, uh, on and it. Now you can see it 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 has reached 300 milliampere and uh, now I use I need to check it with the RAM. So. Uh, I do not have the display panel because uh, we have received this motherboard like this way uh, from the other state of uh, in India and uh, what we are going to do we are going to demonstrate you the if the display comes it will be written here the system is connected to the CRO because uh, we have connected the both drive USB. Now let me turn it on so now amperage is going high it seems uh, before before inserting the RAM module the load was less and uh, it has taken high load so now we can presume that uh, it has taken the ram taking ram is uh, something that uh, we are talking about the dram reset so i think the dram res reset has been generated now i haven't done anything so i'm using the different uh, usb because uh, it seems slightly loose so let me do once again So it is uh, now you can see that successfully connected to your computer the display has come now the further uh, checking will be executed by the customer. I hope guys you have enjoyed this video and uh, this types of informations we always bring forth in uh, for your uh, enhancement for your knowledge enhancement and uh, uh, so please keep on liking like this way and so that we will be motivated uh, by your liking and uh, we will keep on making this types of video but uh, uh, if you are looking for the actual information of uh, the laptop repairing then you can also go through our all videos which which we have uploaded in our youtube channel if you are looking for the actual knowledge of uh, the laptop repairing so i would like to recommend you go through our channels uh, youtube channel laptex and you can you can analyze that uh, how we teach how we uh, provide you the knowledge the same thing we also sometime upload for you that you will get benefited for that but not all the things because uh, we have around 250 hours video classes so it is not possible to upload in in the youtube and uh, if you are looking for that that video then you can contact on the given number there we have uh, separately you can contact for the uh, separate videos like if you have problem in the charging section you can contact for that also if you have uh, if you know all the knowledge but you cannot use the dso then you can contact also for that one also if you have if you don't have the knowledge that what is the communication between pch and sio chip then also you can contact for that uh, types of video separately you can take the video from us it is not necessary that all together you can buy all the videos the the point where you feel lackness where you are lagging behind you can improve or you can beef up that type of information so i hope if you have any query you just contact on the given number so please keep on liking and if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe it and hit the a bell icon button because we usually upload these types of information in our channel and uh, keep on loving like that so goodbye and take care